attitude and that mentality slows us down. It slows us down from being most effective. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at our YouTube's counter, right? It almost reminds me of when Bob Marley, um, when he was sick and everything, and he was um, looking at the newspaper reports, the news reports. And a lot of the news reports were very negative. Some of them were reporting, you know, like almost like a, he was very sick. Or I think even a couple of reports that he had died or whatever before he had, he had went to sleep, before he, you know, spiritually, you know, returned to the ether, as it were, you know. And this was really bothering him a lot. I mean, you know what happened to even Marcus Messiah Garvey. He read a report that he was dead, right, and, and then he died, you know what I mean, because of that. See, see, that shows the immaturity of the soul. The Babylonian system does not want your soul, right, to be um, spiritually uh, enlightened. It doesn't mind if you be awake, laying down in your bed, all wrapped up and comfortable. I mean, I mean, hey, be awake all you want. Folks are, oh, trying to wake up people. You understand? Know it's like the alarm clock wake up people. You know, the alarm clock wake up people, and if people can reach that alarm clock and hit that snooze button, they hit that snooze button, and where they go? They go back to sleep. This is what all this awakening. You know, find one these false prophets out here on the YouTubes, right? You know, like we said in the earlier clip, a previous clip, I don't know if we'll be able to post on Ethiopian World Net, because, you know, we have to carry our cross. Now they limit us to only 15 or so minutes. You know, we try to get a little, squeeze a little bit more out of it, but they try to limit us to 15 minutes because the truth is an offense, but it's not a sin. Remember the verse that we had read in 626 of Luke, right, where it says, Woe, right, woe to you when all men speak well of you. You know, folks, they get so twisted because, oh, oh, I can't take these comments. So what they do is, is they disable the comments. You know what I mean? We encourage the comments, actually. Even among naysayers, because when you're, you know, when you are, when your soul is not naked, you know what I mean? You know, when your soul is not naked, many of your, your, your soul is naked. You, you know what I mean? And, and your soul, in a sense, is being, it's like psychic rape, in a sense. You know what I mean? Where, where the truth, your truth, not even your truth, but the truth that you know, Right, from study, you know, from meditation, from really seeking, you know, asking, seeking and knocking. If you put up a put up a video and you only get a couple of, of hits or ten or twenty or so hits on it or a couple of hundred hits or maybe only a, a, a couple of hundred to a thousand hit hits after a, a, a fairly long period of time, and then you look at other folks' videos out there, you understand? And other folks' videos out there get plenty of hits and everything. You know, and a lot of people keep talking about, oh, yeah, so-and-so know the truth. So-and-so, yeah, you see that video? They got millions of hits out there. That's what I believe. Woe to you when all men speak well of you. For so did their fathers to the false prophets. So did their fathers to the false prophets. And this is the point we want to go a little bit more in, in, into right here. Because we said before that when we listen to a lot of these false prophets out there, you know, many of them are, are Gentile kind of or Gentile-minded Christians, right? Um, and they're talking about what's going to happen and why and history and this. Have you noticed that black people seem to have no real significance in, in world events or human history, really? When these folks are doing Bible hermeneutics and Bible prophecy and Bible study, that black folks got no, they're thrown in there for added effect. Isn't this interesting? We said in the previous uh, portion that black people are like the oil. You like energy for for this Babylonian system. You, you know how they how they drill. You know how they drill the oil and then they refine it and into different products. Some is for fuel, prison industrial complex. Like some is fuel. Others is like plastics and 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 all other kind of stuff. You know they make products out of these lost sheep or out of these Negroes and everything like that. But once they can remove, and, and this they've successfully done, once they can remove black people, right, black people from, from Bible prophecy, right, then they can sell people on anything like this right here. 
For example, I, I think this is just so very, very clear. White marble, right? Black flesh. You, you check that out right there. We call this image right here um, Yeshua Iesus, right? Um, we call this one uh, Black Christ versus White Caesar. Mm-hmm. Haven't done a presentation specifically on this, but we, many of you know we've addressed this particular point, right? And as we start to get more into this particular point, seeing its scriptural, biblical, prophetic significance, we started to notice that only the real core people, only the core brothers and sisters, be checking out the videos. You understand? Be liking the videos and favoring the videos and giving good comment, and then we kind of know them also because they let us know when, you know, they communicate, oh, I'm so-and-so on YouTube, so forth and so on, right? And um, as we mentioned earlier, when we first started to broadcast on YouTubes, right, we were, like I guess so many of y'all are, you know, adversely affected, you know, by likes and dislikes, you know, by how many hits on there, how come, okay, let's, let's add some more tags to it, let's do some more controversial stuff or some more kind of even obnoxious stuff to get attention, you know, attention grabbers, you know, that's why you have people posting the ass, you know, you know, posting their body parts to get attention. So, oh, really? Ooh, you look, ooh. See, there's, there's a whole psyops, you see. And they don't teach you. They don't teach you. And I'm not going to just talk about what they don't teach you. They, they really don't teach you anything. It's a psychic manipulation. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a psychic manipulation. I was about to say pure, but it's not any purity to it. It's impurity. Simply impure, psychological manipulation. What is your soul? Your soul is, your, is the seat in, in, your, in your, how can we say this for people who are so materialistic? You understand? Um, that's why they say they have no God but Caesar because, you see, the white marble seems much stronger than the black flesh. The white wash seems so much stronger than the black truth. And the more you start dealing with that truth, you understand? This is why a lot of the prosperity pimps and, 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 and pastors and preachers out there don't talk about any real issues, right? Don't even really, see, if you are a part of a real church, you should really never have a resort to a psychologist or a psychiatrist in that sense, you understand? Or be caught up on these um, psychoactive, mentally, mentally altering, soul-altering drugs and everything, pharmaceutical, basically sorcery. Right? But because the church has not been doing its proper job, and I know we've been offending them on everything from, from Martin Lucifer King, you, you know what I mean, <laughs> to, um, to whether it's the Obama or whatever like that. You know, the truth is an offense, but it's not a sin. This is why it's so important when we say right here, let's, uh, let's move this over here. So once they're able to remove black people out of the equation, Right? Once they're able to move black people, and this is so interesting, haven't you noticed when you're watching these uh, Christian, um, I mean, even some of these movies like Left Behind, oh, yeah, they'll put Louis Gossett Jr. and so forth and so on. They'll put a couple of black people in there, you know, as, as, kind, of, as kind of third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, whatever wheels and everything, so you won't say, oh, that's racist, there was no black people in it, so forth and so on. It, now they put black people everywhere, you know, in the media, because this is part of their end-time deception. But they don't put us where we truly are, and that's in biblical prophecy. They, they don't put black people in biblical prophecy. Not put them in there, but they don't see them. They are blind to the fact. They are blind as, as Babylonians, blind as Babylonians to that particular fact. Isn't that interesting? When they talk about what is happening now and God's purpose for humanity, black people are just, uh, just like anybody else. But in the reality of the world, you see black people are the energy. They're like the oil. You understand? They're like the fuel. You understand? For society, just like the crude, the crude oil. The crude oil is the nigger. The nigger is the crude oil. Now, this particular vid, somebody's going to find it offensive, like the other video that they, uh, you know, um, pulled down, right? And, and our account got all into this sort of situation because we say that the black man's problem is not a white man's problem, but it's a God problem, right? It's a God problem. And, and because it was so effective, and so many people started to talk on it and started to shake that Babylonian mindset, that paradigm, 
It caused instability in their matrix. They had to pull it down. And we've noticed ever since that particular time that if we are over, you see what I'm saying? Because some of our brothers and sisters have been covert in putting up our videos and, you know, kind of here and there, and they still get, you know, pretty good reception here and there, but because we are these ones who are putting out the truth in such a clear way and not like the false prophets. You see, so brothers and sisters, right, Rastafari said beware of these false Christian prophets out there that don't say anything about black people in the whole equation of things. And it's so very, you know, um, it's so very obvious that black people have a, have, a, have a strong role to play in real society. So you mean God, the God of the Bible, doesn't say anything about his black people? Right? doesn't say anything about the black people, right? And then when we are showing and proving that Yeshua HaMoshiach, that Jesus Christ was Jesus Christ is a black man, I mean, I mean, who's the biggest one to basically deny? It's those same crude Negro oil, the crude oil Negroes, right? You know, they're like the crude oil. They're refined. They are, they are burnt as fuel, prison industrial complex, uh, military industrial complex. They, they are used and abused and... Uh, like hell, and then found dead hanging in a cell, jail cell. What was that that, that old that old hip hop song? Something to that effect. I, I might have mashed up the lyrics right there. But um, beware of these false prophets and those false prophets out there. And brothers and sisters, don't become so twisted if you put out a video and you don't get that many hits. Now, of course, still, you know, in meditating this point, because it took us a while to really get to the root of this, even in ourselves. You see what I'm saying? To the point that. You know, we caught ourselves at a couple of times, almost not want, like our will was affected. That aspect of our soul, our will was adversely affected because we began to believe the lie. You understand that the thing that legitimizes whether we're saying the truth or not is whether a bunch of, of, of ignorant, um, spiritually ignorant, right, um, people out there, lost people, out there agree with it or not. The reason why they don't agree with it, like when Christ says, why doesn't anyone want to come to the light? So that the, the dirty deeds, they don't want their dirty deeds to be exposed, right? So, of course, if you are ministering the truth, right, and you're not like some of these people out there who are ministering the truth, but they're a little bit clownish, you know, so it's kind of like an entertainment truth in a sense. You, you, you know what I mean? So people can laugh, and, and, when, and, you know, when you laugh, you feel good. You know what I'm saying? So it's like kind of feel good kind of truth. But it says, woe to you when all men shall speak well of you. So if you're getting negative comments and putting out the truth, remember this right here, Luke 6, 26. Woe to you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. See, their fathers did the same thing with the false prophets. So you'll notice that a lot of the false prophets out there Right, you know, a lot of the false prophets out there, you know, they got a bunch of people who thumbs it up, who who like it, you understand, who who watch the video repeatedly and show all their friends and, and link them, so forth and so on. We're not in a competition like that. And in fact, one, one more statement, I'm so happy I remembered it, the Holy Spirit reminded me of it, that um, the kingdom of heaven does not come by observation. Right? The kingdom of heaven does not come by observation. You know what I mean? So if you think that, well, the more people who see a video, it means more people who now have really, truly, spiritually been born again or really have so-called, quote, woken up. You understand? You believe in a lie, brothers and sisters. Carry your cross, but remember what the color of the cross really is. See, the color of the cross is that blackness right there. That's the color of the cross. Now, you see, some folks will say, oh, but that's being racist. Well, it's not us being racist. You understand? It's not us being racist. You know, I mean, if you really know the truth of the matter. You know, it's almost like a woman being raped and then the woman or attempted rape and then the woman decides to fight back and she really brutalizes the rapist. And then they're charging her with brutality to the one who has, was, was attempting to rape her. You understand? This is the very same kind of situation with us, brothers and sisters, as black people. The truth is an offense, but it is not a sin. Shalom, Rastafari.